Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I really just wanted to do an update to the working from home video that I did about a week ago. We are still in quarantine here in New Jersey and I actually updated my working space. I am working full time from home now and I found that my new working space has helped me tremendously in not only separating like my relaxation time from my work time but in just like my ability to focus on work and just everything so i wanted to give you a quick update on how that's going with my new schedule i'll show you or i'll, I'll tell you what my new schedule has been because i feel like now especially like yesterday and today i've really gotten into the rhythm of my new schedule and i'm actually kind of enjoying it surprisingly so uh let's jump in. Well, first, if you didn't watch my first working from home video, I'll throw it up in the cards, Because, but without that, you'll just be a little bit confused. So like I said in the first video, I used to work right where you guys are standing. So this is my vanity. It's a big vanity, but it's a vanity. And it's where I film my YouTube videos, it's where I do my makeup, and the rest of my room is behind me. I have like a little ante room. I'm in the attic of the house, so I have a little bit of a space by the stairs. Um, and so it's kind of outside of the doorway of my actual room and that's where I set up my little mini office. So let's talk about my, my new routine first. Uh, first of all, I have been going to bed later and waking up later because I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. to catch a train. So I'm normally going to bed around 10 o'clock now, which is still early for some. I go to bed around 10 and then I wake up around between 6.30 and 7. So then I have between 7 and 9 to take my shower, do my makeup, do maybe a little bit of YouTube work here or there, and then I start working at 9. I was very tempted to start working earlier since I'm here at home, but it's helped me a lot to really stick to my work schedule, which for me is 9 to 5. So even though I was tempted to work, you know, earlier, like 8 to 4 or whatever, I found that it's better to stick to the norm, stick to your schedule. So I take that time, the two hours in the morning to myself, I do my makeup, I take my time, and then I start working at 9, and I take my lunch, I actually block out my lunch period, so about 45 minutes, I will actually go either have lunch or make lunch, and I step away from my desk. I'll show you the desk, but I step away from there and eat somewhere else, and that helps me too. And then I work until 5, and then like now it's like right after 5 o'clock, it's 5.05. .05. So I just finished, I'm about to clean up and eat dinner, and then relax, talk to some friends, and, and all that good stuff. So that's kind of been my current routine. And let's go ahead and I'll show you my new work setup. And this is my current setup. So I made myself a nice catty corner little desk with a lamp right over there in the corner, which is very helpful. So this is actually an old uh, vanity, and I just have some decorations up here. I've got the chess set that Brooke got me. I've got um, some journals for like mindfulness and stuff. I got some decorations. I got tissues, because <laughs> of course I do. And then down here, let's go down. Got my work backpack, and then I've got any like books or catalogs or anything related to work go in these two things right there. And say hi to Eli Jr. everyone. Hello. If you saw on Instagram, you probably already saw this setup, but I, I love this desk. The desk I got at Target. The monitor was uh, like a leftover from my boyfriend's office. They had an extra one, so I just grabbed that. And I have the laptop you'll see is propped up on a cardboard box. That way, my monitors are on the same level. And it's like a double monitor situation, and it's so much easier to do, and it actually is <laughs> very helpful. Uh, I have my mouse, this is my phone, my mouse is actually in the drawer down there because <laughs> it just, there wasn't enough space on top for it and I'm too short so I had to put it down there. I got my keyboard, I got my wrist brace, and I got a couple of cute decorations so let's zoom in on that. So on my desk I've got like a thumb drive, I've got these cute little books that my best friend Brooke got me from Italy a few years ago, and then I have a little article about how I'm supposed to be able to get a refund on my, uh, my New Jersey Transit monthly ticket. Yep, New Jersey Transit. I better get a refund. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, and little zoom in over here. So uh, I've got just like pens, pencils, some scissors, uh, my journals, and that's about it for the basic setup. I have this nice chair which has a lot of lumbar support. You can't see it right now. Let me zoom down. 
but I've got this nice little rug. I had it just on the other side of my room. I put it here just to um, cushion the chair and my feet. And then I've got a little box here that I use as a footrest just because um, I'm short. So if I sit correctly in this chair, my feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> so I need some kind of footrest. I had one at the office, but I didn't have the capacity to bring it to my house. So we use that. Um, and then in the drawers here, I just have like some little notebooks. I got my work notebook. I got a mini notebook my mouse, then I have chargers like my phone charger, any other thing that I might need is just down there. So this has been my work setup. I like to come out here, turn all the lights on, bring my other lamp out, make it really bright, and then just work nine to five. And then as soon as it's done, everything gets put away. You know, the monitor gets turned off, the computer gets turned off, and the lights get turned off. And then I go into my actual room, which is through there, and I can relax. So it's nice having the separation, and I, I found that I've been focusing a lot more and I've been getting a lot done and it's really helped my schedule too because I have, it sounds stupid, but like not working in my own space is nice. <laughs> and I still do my morning routine. So I still get up, I still get dressed. I wear my normal work clothes and I still do everything the same that I would if I were to leave the house to go to work, but I leave and I come here to go to work. Okay, so that's my current setup, that's my current routine, and it's really been helping me to separate things out and stay sane <laughs> during this quarantine. I've been, this is my second week of working remotely, and um, I just saw an article today, I'm filming this on Wednesday, this will be going up Friday morning, I saw an article this morning that said the, the peak for New Jersey cases could be three weeks away. So we're gonna be here a while but we should all be still doing our best staying home if we can um, my heart goes out to everyone who is working in essential fields my boyfriend actually works in a grocery store so he's been out there he's been working his like his ass off honestly and so I just really feel and my heart and my thoughts are with everyone who's still out there and working and so it's our duty the rest of us who can stay home it is our duty to stay home for them along with for everyone else <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a little bit of a different video, but I really wanted to update that previous video since I did have a new working space. We'll be back to makeup related content. We will actually be doing my Pen That Palette update on Sunday. So thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.